Hello, welcome back to educator.com and welcome back to biochemistry. So in the previous lesson, we started talking about um, amino acid degradation, amino acid catabolism, did a quick little overview about what is actually happening in the liver cell. And today we're going to start a detailed discussion. So I'm gonna be talking about glutamine and alanine and the role that they play in holding the amino groups from amino acids that are broken down outside of the liver cell, like the amino acids that are broken down in muscle tissue or broken down uh, the amino acids that are actually not in the liver but brought to the liver. And then we're going to start, uh, by, we'll start the discussion of the urea cycle. So let's get started. Okay, now the excess ammonia that's produced in tissues um, other than the liver is combined with glutamate to form glutamine. So, so excess ammonia. Oop. Let's make sure we spell these correctly. So excess ammonia produced in tissues other than the liver, other than the liver. The formal term would be extrahepatic tissues, other than the liver, is combined with glutamate to form glutamine. To form glutamine. Okay, now this glutamine. Glutamine is transported to the liver. You remember from the overview um, in the last lesson, that was one of the sources of amino groups, was the amino groups from outside of the liver that was brought into the liver uh, via glutamine. So this glutamine is transported to the liver where it gives up its ammonia where it gives up its ammonia and becomes glutamate again so again this glutamate is the central molecule for this whole amino acid metabolism Okay, so let's go ahead and do this here. Let me go ahead and do this in blue. Oops, excuse me. Go ahead and readjust that. Okay, so what have we got here? So we've got uh, four, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we have, let's go ahead and draw it this way. And again, I tend to not draw in my hydrogens uh, simply because they just take up space. Any carbon that you see that is missing, that doesn't have four bonds, the other bonds are hydrogens. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, yes, that's good. So we have that. And of course we have our NH3 plus group. Um, uh, yes, actually, I will put this H in there to let you know that this is the alpha carbon of the amino acid. Okay, so the first transformation is going to be ATP releasing ADP, and so this is the glutamate. And the enzyme is glutamine synthetase. glutamine synthetase. So it's an enzyme that catalyzes the actual synthesis of glutamine from glutamate. Okay, so now let's go back to blue. And what you end up with is the following. You end up with one, two, three, four, and five. So we have that there. We have our NH3 group there, our alpha carbon. And then we have over here, we have this, and we have O, and we have a phosphate group. So basically we have just phosphorylated this because we want to create a good leaving group on this 
end because that's the end that we're going to attach this ammonia, this excess ammonia. So this glutamate first is converted to this phosphate. It's called gamma glutamyl phosphate. I'll go ahead and write the name. Uh, the name is, doesn't really matter all that much, but uh, just in case, everything has a name in biochemistry. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So gamma glutamyl phosphate. So again, we're just creating this, putting this phosphate here to create a good leaving group here because now the amine, uh, the ammonia, is actually going to come in and attack this, and this is going to be the leaving group. Okay, so now what we have is the next step. So what comes in is NH4 plus or NH3. And what is going to leave is the phosphate. So this NH4 group is going to replace this. So we're going to have an amide right there. That's what makes it the glutamine instead of the glutamate. The glutamine has this NH3 and it also has an NH2 over here. So what you get is the following. And again, this is the same enzyme. So I've written it in two steps. This is so glutamine synthetase, glutamine synthetase, okay? And the molecule that we end up with is the following. We get C, 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 and C. This is one carboxyl end. We have an NH3 plus here. I'll put this H to let you know that that's the alpha carbon of the amino acid. And then we have this, and now we have the N H2. So this is now an amide. Th Go ahead and do this in black. That is this. Okay, it came in, attacked this, kicked off the phosphate. That's why you have this inorganic phosphate leaving. It replaced it. Okay, now this is our glutamine. So excess ammonia is tied up as glutamine by converting glutamate to glutamine. Okay, now we have that. So this, when glutamine enters the liver and when it releases that ammonia that it brought from other parts of the body for it to be processed, this particular one is the one that it releases. So glutamine releases the one on the end, not this one. It's true that glutamate itself is the central molecule. Glutamate in the liver releases this one, but glutamine, when it comes in, releases this one. So there are two that glutamine has. The first one is released that way, and then glutamate releases that one. But we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Okay, so the final conversion that takes place that converts glutamine back to glutamate is the following. Let me go ahead and go back to... Actually, you know what? Let me stick with black on this one so we can, we can do that. So this is going to be just a basic hydrolysis reaction. So what comes in is water, and what ends up leaving is NH4+, this thing right here. And what you get is your glutamate back. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, let me see. This is our carboxyl. This is our amino. Let's go ahead and put the H there to let us know. And then, of course, we have this other carboxylate. So now we are back at glutamate. That's it. And this is this conversion, glutamine, to release the ammonia group at the end uh, that's tied up as an amide group right here to become glutamate. That is, let's draw a little arrow here, the enzyme for that is glutaminase or glutaminase, wherever you want to put the accent, however you want to pronounce it. It doesn't really matter. So that is what happens with glutamine. The excess ammonia from other tissues in the body, um, the excess ammonia that's produced is tied up as glutamine by using glutamate. Glutamate to glutamine, glutamine to the liver. Glutamine gives up this ammonia. And that gets processed. You know, that's going to actually enter the, the urea cycle and turns into glutamate. So glutamate is the central molecule of amino acid metabolism. Okay.